Доброго дня, шановні пані та пана. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Ukrainian crisis media center continues its work and we welcome all who are watching us. Our current topic is announcement about the partnership of 25 communities. We have Yelena Yesmukhanova, executive head of the USA Dobro program, Vyacheslav Nigo, the deputy minister on the communities and territories, then Vinyamin Sitov and uh, uh, mayor of the Marefianska uh, community in Kharkiv Oblast and Petro Sehedi from uh, head of the Safivska territorial community in Dnipro Oblast and also members of the new communities. We are happy to welcome you at uh, this announcement of our 25 new partners. Usually we celebrate such events at uh, the networking events uh, um, and now unfortunately we have to do this almost uh, totally online but nevertheless it is an important event uh, I would ask you to uh, show my presentation and I will explain uh, about our program. We, as a program, Dobra, have been working since uh, uh, June 2016 and the project will last till September 22. Um, uh, we had just, uh, 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 f first we had just several uh, communities and this year due to the um, uh, program Dobra we have got an opportunity to add 25 more communities and thus we will unite as a program almost 100 communities uh, why we wish to engage uh, more communities. Major goal of our program is to support local self-government for in deepening of democratic processes and uh, improving conditions for development. So our uh, objectives, we have two major objectives. The first objective is to strengthen uh, cooperation of the local self-government aimed at uh, strengthening its capacity and uh, the second objective actually the second component of our program is to increase the capacity of local communities in decision making and uh, to um, increase the um, uh, involvement of citizens, uh, broad layers of citizens like uh, women, youth, uh, etc., to decision making. Unfortunately, our resources are limited, and uh, we uh, teach our communities to work strategically and focus on the top priority. That's why, after consultations with our donors and the Ministry of the Regions and Territories, uh, we are of, uh, selected territories and uh, communities who participated in the uh, competition, in the contest. Uh, why we had to limit uh, the um, uh, participation um, because uh, our uh, team, uh, our program is very comprehensive and uh, we uh, need to have experts and um, uh, contact points and very uh, proactive participants in each community. Actually, each week our experts have very close communication with the uh, community uh, representatives. That's why uh, we are unable to cover all the communities in Ukraine, but we nevertheless try to create communities who uh, later on will be able to share best practices and uh, um, show best examples for uh, other communities. So we uh, offer strategic planning for the community growth, local economic development uh, uh, 
a gender sensitive approach as an involvement of uh, uh, citizens uh, involvement of youth communication and uh, online instruments and some others um, this is uh, a current uh, uh, work plan uh, with the uh, last cohort, uh, we will have the uh, mm, uh, smaller amount of uh, um, uh, uh, actions or um, events to, to do, uh, but we have good methodology and uh, good experience from previous uh, cohorts and uh, we expect that our work with the last cohort will be uh, ra rather uh, effective. Uh, mm, besides uh, working groups and uh, trainings uh, which we provide, uh, um, we expect uh, to uh, produce the following outcomes, the infrastructural projects, uh, and we expect that around three million dollars or which is equal to 82 million hryvnia will be later implemented in the communities here you see the projects which are already implemented uh, uh, in 75 communities, we have spent, uh, as of now, around 62 million hryvnia uh, and received around 143 million of uh, money from um, uh, uh, Communities. This, this was investment from communities into those infrastructural projects. Um, yeah, so uh, now about the competition to the last cohort. Uh, uh, it, it, the competition was held in uh, June, uh, during June till September. September, the first uh, stage of selection collected 96 applications, the second stage 31. Uh, and uh, in result of sh that short list, we have selected 25 uh, committees uh, um, uh, uh, in September. When we had finally selected the communities, we understood that the local elections were an approach and we decided to postpone the um, beginning of our work till, re till new like, local elections. Out of 25 communities, seven leaders of the communities had changed the and after first session, we had uh, 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 communication with them, and uh, they had meetings with our experts. In the meanwhile, uh, 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 we started uh, training sessions with the newly elected uh, heads of communities. So uh, the result is fol as follows. Five communities in Zaporizhia Oblast, 10 communities in Chernihiv and uh, Chernivtsi, 10, uh, uh, 10 cities, seven settlements, and eight villages. Uh, only nine uh, uh, of those communities, uh, these are not new, um, newly amalgamated communities. That, uh, that means actually they would not require strategic planning while the majority uh, have to, to do this process of strategic planning for their communities. Uh, 
In Zaporizhia, we have Veselivska, Hulepilska, Komizerianska, Polohivska, and Shirokivska communities. I'm happy to welcome the Zaporizhia Oblast communities. This is Chernigiv region and new communities in Chernigiv region. Korobska, Koryukivska, Lasenivska, Lubitska, Menska, Nizhinska, Novgorod, Siverska, Snovska, Sosnitska, Tupichevska, amalgamated communities. These were all amalgamated communities. Uh, communities. Uh, and in Chernivtsi uh, Oblast, we have uh, Veliko Kuchurivska, Vizhnitska, Glebotska, Klishkovetska, Mamalihivska, Nedobojevska, Novoselitska, Kukshitska, Usputilska, and Khotinska. Uh, uh, amalgamated communities. Uh, we uh, welcome all those uh, new members of our um, family in the project. And uh, uh, now I'm happy to to invite uh, Mr. Nagoda, Deputy uh, Minister on the Territorial Development of the Ministry of uh, uh, Communities and Territories Development. Um, uh, I'm happy to use this opportunity on the eve of the new year oh, and uh, uh, welcome and thank to the Dobra program who has been doing good things from the first day when it launched its work in Ukraine. Uh, uh, well, um, uh, at the first uh, and the kickoff uh, stage of our uh, decentralization reform, we felt uh, very important uh, support from your project uh, because at the example uh, of uh, um, uh, some communities uh, uh, that got your assistance, we were able to demonstrate the successes of the um, uh, decentralization. So those uh, uh, first three cohorts of uh, communities uh, uh, were, uh, that allowed to pilot uh, the decisions made by uh, either the, the parliament or the government and the, the program itself made a huge contribution into the development of uh, uh, local um, communities, and you are doing this uh, uh, contribution not via declarations, but uh, why uh, real investment projects which improve infrastructure and uh, the quality of services that are delivered in this or that community. Thus, we have the history of success, uh, the success story, mm, and uh, um, today we are uh, shaping the uh, today we are welcoming the new pool of uh, uh, communities who are um, uh, uh, in our family of the Dobra program. And actually, out of that uh, uh, 463 new local, uh, new amalgamated local community that uh, uh, started uh, to function after the new elections and that after the new year will actually start to gain new experience uh, um, because uh, uh, in the past they were subordinated either to the district authorities or to the um, oblast authorities and they were unable to uh, to see opportunities and to feel responsibility for their own growth and development. Now I believe that um, now it is important to, to um, pilot the projects uh, uh, that being implemented in uh, this pilot communities could later on be multiplied all around Ukraine. Um, uh, 
Uh, uh, so immediately after elections, you are able to implement actually your programs or uh, immediately start implementation of your uh, programs. Uh, uh, which you uh, compiled just before elections. And uh, Yulia mentioned those uh, uh, new 25 communities that um, uh, joined uh, uh, this first cohort. Uh, uh, some of them are familiar to us uh, because they started to function as amalgamated communities before the elections, but, but um, be, uh, uh, now there's a new stage of development just before planning budgets for the future. It is quite useful and even inevitable to have a strategic plan for the development as to the urban uh, development uh, to bring the uh, uh, this master plans in uh, um, in line with the um, strategic vision for the community development. So here you will be able to get professional uh, support from the project. Um, to those who were uh, 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 who were selected for participation in the project, I should say that you have got a ticket for hard work. Uh, we had even some uh, um, uh, communities who found it too hard to work in the project. Uh, who, uh, expected that the project would do something instead of them and they uh, that's why they stepped back at some stages now, so I believe that uh, um, the, uh, newly elected councillors in the communities uh, uh, and the new heads, the newly elected heads of the communities, uh, they should be very much willing to uh, uh, participate in this program because it provides exquisite uh, um, opportunities uh, for new knowledge. On the other hand, uh, this is this will mean for you hard work and I encourage you to use both these opportunities in full scale and uh, uh, please know that experts uh, would be very scrupulous they will uh, uh, offer you uh, to determine the KPIs of your work uh, uh, and uh, uh, try to encourage you to think strategically step by step and in many details. But in result of that, you will get good outcomes, I assure you. I believe that representatives of executive bodies and the councillors of the um, uh, uh, city councils, settlement council, they uh, will become uh, uh, more capable. Uh, uh, they w uh, more capable to produce uh, uh, better ideas and uh, to understand how those ideas might be improved Implemented. Once again, I would like to thank uh, to uh, the Dobra program as we used to do after each uh, cohort. And uh, we would like to thank to the USAID um, because they provide this um, uh, support, a very important support to the uh, decentralization report. Uh, reform implementation and to the community's development. Actually, the success of the whole reform would depend on the success and development of each community. I would like to uh, congratulate you uh, with the uh, f coming new year and uh, uh, 
to send you my best wishes. For us, your um, results uh, um, are very important and we would appreciate uh, feedback from you and for us it will be very good to know that the project uh, is useful um thank you very much you uh, promise such a hard work to um, our um, community representatives uh, um, that they might be frightened i think now i'm happy to uh, to invite uh, 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 our uh, heads from the first and second cohorts. Uh, uh, Mr. Petros Hedi from Safivska uh, uh, Settlement Territorial Community in the Dnipropetrovsk region. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Segedi, could you explain your experience with our uh, project? Uh, uh, good afternoon, Yulia. Good afternoon, Vyacheslav. I'm happy to welcome those um, communities who had joined to our uh, uh, Dobre family. Um, uh, it is not scary to work in this project. It's uh, um, extremely interesting. Uh, when we started to uh, take part in the program, uh, it actually turned upside down all our vision and all our uh, approach to what we uh, are doing. Uh, today, when we are looking at the decentralization reform and uh, when we are gaining more and more new responsibilities, uh, Oh, we uh, find out that we can do more. Uh, due to the DOBRA program, we were able to develop a good strategic uh, uh, vision, good strategic plan, which we now started to implement. With the assistance of the DOBRA program, we were able to uh, create a good uh, website, a good portal, which became very popular and uh, uh, attracts attention. Uh, due to the Dobra program, we uh, were able to implement uh, a, a considerable number of smaller projects, which never the last showed uh, uh, good success and uh, this was quick success that allowed us to prove the usefulness of the decentralization. Um, uh, and uh, to die today, experts uh, mm, and uh, our councillors and even citizens, uh, they come to us and offer new things that could be done and should be done um, by us as the uh, council. Safivska uh, territorial community is very lucky to have such mentors as your project. I'm happy to thank once again to your experts, to uh, your mentors, and it is what is very good that you brings us responsible for the work that we promised to do. And uh, we always remember that we are um, accountable uh, 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 in that number to you. We have to show what we have learned. And uh, um, uh, we uh, have reached uh, what we um, uh, planned. Uh, each webinar, each uh, video conference allowed us to uh, understand better the role of the leader of local community and of the councillors. Uh, so I would like to assure the leaders of the new in the new cohort that you are very lucky. You have a long way ahead and. Uh, um, you will like it. Uh, on uh, on my side, I would like to 
congratulate everybody with the Christmas and New Year. And this uh, uh, will be four year in a row when we will have the festival of carols. And um, uh, we have very good website which popularizes this event. There are a lot of people. Uh, um, uh, uh, volunteers willing to participate in it. With this, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Vinyamin Sita from Marefianska uh, the town uh, or city territorial community in Kharkiv region. Mm, good afternoon, uh, Yulia. Good afternoon, Vecheslav. Good afternoon, dear colleagues in the studio. Um, I would not uh, uh, repeat uh, uh, what Yulia and Vecheslav uh, uh, had mentioned uh, because I fully agree with them. I fully agree that much was done by the Dobre program uh, of the USAID and uh, uh, about us and our participation due to this uh, project we were able to um, change mentality in the community to change our overall paradigm of inclusiveness and participation um, uh, people um uh, showed a big readiness to contribute to the local development, to attend events, to uh, provide ideas. Uh, uh, so I can assure you, dear colleagues, that, that uh, it is not scary to gain new knowledge, to try new approaches, and to try new paths, actually. And doing this, we will... Uh, 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 be able to uh, raise the level of our communities. We uh, had a lot of trainings. We had a, 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 a lot of meetings. We involved many uh, 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 civil society organizations uh, uh, we participated in all the components offered by the Dobra program uh, almost 85 such events uh, so now uh, my um, uh, colleagues are coming to me and uh, they continue to ask uh, questions uh, whether the program will be continued. Uh, uh, so the uh, level uh, of the project uh, might be raised. That is upgrading the knowledge uh, uh, um, for those who lead the local communities. Yulia, this is my suggestion to you. As for the project management, in Kharkiv Oblast, one community was uh, expanded, uh, 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 sorry, excluded from the project. Uh, they rejected uh, to participate in the soft uh, um, soft projects, so called, that is in soft trainings. And uh, uh, the, but I can assure you, devote as much attention to these uh, trainings as possible because they are extremely interesting, they are extremely important, they will totally change your vision and I can assure you that those people who will undergo these uh, trainings, uh, they will um, uh, find, uh, they will build a new life for your communities. Yulia, I hope that you will have a, a, a new level, new level, uh, or maybe extension of your project. I believe that uh, the next uh, level of the project will be sharing experience from you among the communities in Kharkiv Oblast and uh, with cohort four.
uh, perhaps there will be study visits. I hope so. Um, uh, as for the high level trainings, we may uh, organize discussion and understand the needs of all our cohorts. Now, I am uh, happy to invite Kamush Zaryansko Otohe Igor Natush from Zaporizhia Oblast uh, uh, in. Uh, uh, the, in the conference, in the offline conference, we would be able to take a photo with this uh, plaque. Unfortunately, staying online, we cannot make a joint photo with the plaque, but uh, um, uh, we will uh, send this plaque to you. So what is your vision of the priorities for your community development and uh, or how you can make use uh, our program? We are in the southeast of Zaporizhia Oblast. We were among uh, 149 first amalgamated communities in Ukraine. Uh, of course, we work much as community with IDP issues. We uh, had to open kindergartens for them. We have bigger part of IDPs in general in our uh, among our residents. Uh, 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 and uh, now we require assistance uh, in terms of the uh, adaptation of IDPs. Uh, looking at our colleagues, uh, 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 who, uh, um, uh, who tried uh, to uh, improve and who had better successes. Uh, three years ago, when your program started uh, to uh, launch its first programs, we have heard from previous uh, participants uh, that uh, um, uh, uh, your program is very useful, especially in terms of better communication. Uh, uh, while I realize that our communication is very weak, uh, while your project actually forces members of local council and the head of local council to learn properly how to communicate. Uh, uh, those your colleagues who provided training for us within two days. Uh, they inspired us uh, uh, to uh, uh, change our vision of communication. Uh, I agree with my previous colleagues that uh, there is a lot of work, there is a long path to cover. I now see it and uh, we are very much committed to do, to, to do this. All our departments in the council um, uh, and also uh, sometimes I have doubts and concerns about them, about their commitment, but nevertheless I hope that they will uh, uh, feel responsibility uh, for um, for the selection in the staff selection process, and they they will uh, uh, remain strongly committed to the progr program implementation. So I, I even now cannot understand how we were selected. You were selected because you filled uh, your um, application form in a very good good way and uh, we felt that you are special now to put you on the game whether whether we have good connection with to uh, local community good afternoon this is doya chugai head of the investment uh, uh, sector of the council to uh, council good afternoon dear friends i am happy to be part of this big program uh, 
uh, we had been observing the activity of your project for several years uh, in Ukraine. And uh, when we found an opportunity to um, uh, participate in it, when we have heard about new project call, even uh, at the eve of elections, uh, we submitted application because we saw this program as an opportunity to make a good use of the uh, program uh, experts uh, um, knowledge expertise uh, and uh, 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 to uh, make our community more economically to use this chance to make it uh, more economically sustainable and uh, more advanced. When we attended the first uh, workshop and got home assignment, we had made this home assignment, then we were evaluated and during that home assignment, we found that people, uh, members of local community, are happy to contribute uh, uh, to our assessment, to know about their expectations. Uh, in the result of amalgamation process, our community had enlarged, and now we understand that we have even more work in head, ahead of us, and nevertheless, we now feel stronger that uh, uh, we may uh, consult with the uh, public, with uh, civil society organizations, and we are very happy that we are members of this project and we would be happy to see you and welcome you all here. Thank you so much. We uh, have uh, big hopes that next month so we will be able to attend at least several uh, newly joining communities. Uh, the question whether it is possible to join your program because we are a newly established community and we uh, uh, require training. Um, uh, unfortunately, I have to emphasize uh, that we are providing very comprehensive support. That's why we have to focus at a limited number of uh, communities. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we had uh, four project calls uh, in the past uh, 20 uh, that is four cohorts. Uh, we had now uh, 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 finalized the first project call. As of now, we do not plan to, to uh, announce new project calls, but in case um, our uh, partner USAID and uh, um, will uh, announce new uh, project call, then we will be able to uh, 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 to accept new uh, uh, new members. Uh, also, I expect that USAID will have other programs for communities, and perhaps you will be able to join them. I am very happy be that uh, um, uh, I have this opportunity today to say that as soon as uh, uh, we will be able to travel around the country, we will immediately visit new communities, new members of our family, and provide them with their memorial plaques. Uh, my, um, uh, well, uh, I will uh, join your uh, congratulations. I would like to thank to these proactive communities who are looking for new initiatives, new opportunities, new options, uh, who uh, uh, try to resolve the problems, how we call it in Ukrainian. But actually, I would like to assure you, assure you there are no problems. There are 
tasks there are objectives so i encourage you to put objectives and uh, implement these objectives reach new goals and uh, this would allow us to reach success mm, uh, i i am happy to welcome those communities who have been working very intensively uh, i am happy to welcome the amalgamated communities re-elected heads of communities new heads of communities and uh, again on the eve of the new year I'm uh, wishing you I wish you that your plans uh, um, could be implemented I wish you good health uh, and uh, I hope that we will overcome all the viruses we will survive through these hard times and uh, let us uh, start our fruitful cooperation thank you